businesses are focused about uh, around building this online community. But what some businesses have forgotten is that really that starts offline first. You really want to engage people offline and have people excited about your business offline so that you can not only create but also strengthen your existing online community. So there's a couple ways to do this. Uh, first, you can use what's called brand evangelists. These are people that are so excited about your brand. So whether it's your receptionist or whether it's somebody, um, you know, your friend who came to your house for dinner, you really want to be able to create these brand evangelists by telling people about your business, giving them a bite-sized bit of what your business does and getting them really excited so that they can see the value and spread the word. Number two, you want to use online tools to foster offline experiences. If you are an uh, offline business, you know whether it's a restaurant, a fitness studio, a hairstylist, anything like that, you really can use online tools to help drive people to your business. So be aware, you know, search, read uh, technical blogs, also ask your friends who are in tech what tools you can use so that you can really engage people offline. And number three, and this probably goes without saying, but to create a really strong offline following, you want to provide a premium experience. You want people to love coming to your business. You want them to want to share their experience about coming to your business. So creating a premium experience and really caring about customer service, there's nothing that really tops that. So that's a really key way to build an offline community that's so excited and can not only start an online community, but bolster whatever online community you have already.